So today I'm filming the 2020 Lexus ES350 F Sport. My tester has the company's 3.5 liter V6. It makes 302 horsepower. It's paired with the eight speed automatic transmission, 267 foot pounds of torque. And as distance, it's always around 3,300 pounds. Fuel economy numbers are 2020 in the city, 31 on the highway and 25 combined. And of course you can put regular gas in this instead of premium. So closing the hood here of the ES, I actually like this red exterior color here with the dark chrome accents. Unfortunately, my tester is missing the triple beam uh, LED headlights. We do get full LEDs here with an LED project above with an LED daytime running light. But unfortunately, it's gonna be an incandescent turn signal. I love the spindle grill here with the integrated uh, L L's here for the, what Lexus does for their designing, which is basically the corporate styling L's. There is some front parking sensors. Like I mentioned, there is some dark chrome here, but let's look at the side proportions of the ES F Sport 350. Looking at the side proportions of the Lexus ES, starting with these tires and wheels, these are a Michelin. They're wrapped in a 235 40 width tire, and this is a 19 inch rim design with, with the alloy finish. You do get four disc brakes for all four wheels. The F Sport badge, which is here to signify what trim level you have. This LED side marker here on the mirror caps. All ESs are going to come standard with a with a standard size sunroof. If you want to get the panoramic sunroof, you have to option that in. Your wheelbase is 113 inches overall, with overall length of 196. That's the same length as the Toyota Avalon. But let's look at the rear of the Lexus ES. The rear of the ES here, looking at the taillight design, these are a full LED design with the ES350 badge here, with your Lexus emblem, with a standard backup camera there, with the dual exhaust. I expect the rear diffuser here. This does have rear parking sensors. Open up the cargo back here. Lexus says you get around 16.7 cubic feet of space. Also, there is, the seats don't fold 60-40, but you have a nice pass-through. They have the strengthening bar here to make the suspension feel a little bit more planted. Lifting up this low floor here, Lexus does give you a spare tire instead of a fix a flat kit. So looking here at the front fascia of the ES350 F Sport, I wish my tester had the triple beam premium headlights like I mentioned, which is an option. But these headlights here, they do look of aggressive look as well. But looking at the key fob, it's the same standard key fob that Lexus offered with the lock, unlock, also with the trunk release and a panic button. But walking up to the ES here, as you can see, you can rest your finger here, that locks the doors and the mirror will electrically fold in. And to unlock it, Lexus does a uh, sensor behind the door. Open up this interior. My Tesla has the black interior. I just like the design of these seats here. Get inside the ES here. Closing the door. Door sounds nice and solid. This rides on the same platform as the Toyota Camry and the Toyota Avalon. But to start up the ES, just put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button here. As you can hear, that 3.5 liter V6 will come to life. The materials in here are soft touch ejection mode plastic or hood up part of your window. Sorry about that, I got the AC a little cranked up in here. This is uh, aluminum style 3D looking trim here with the aluminum style door handle, three person memory seats, your lock controls, your window controls are here. It is express up, express down for all four windows. Leather wrapped steering wheel here. I like this uh, cluster here that you put it into an eco, smart, normal. You put it into the sport. You hear that 3.5 liter V6 comes to life. This makes around 200, 302 horsepower. It has one more horsepower compared to the Avalon and the Camry that has the V6 in it. As you can see here, there's a nice clean LCD display here as well. Paddle shifters, the corporate style looking Lexus steering wheel here with some controls on it with this, your volume controls, your voice commands, your front collision warning, lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control here. Let's look at this F Sport. Uh, badging here, lower part of your steering wheel. Looking at this infotainment system, this has the 10 and a half quarter inch screen here. There's a lot of real estate here. So I think this is actually the eight inch display instead of the 12.3 because there's a lot of real estate that hasn't been used yet. As you guys can probably see right on the camera. But I wish Lexus would offer this with the 12.3 uh, head unit that they offer in the RX350 and 350. Uh, 450L, my apologies. So I wish they would have put that 12.3 inch display in this one. Looking here, there are some hard buttons here for your dual prime control. There is three level heated and cool seats. The heated seats, I mean, the cool seats work pretty fine on this hot summer day like today. Electronic parking brake, which is tucked away here under the start stop button here. A two level heated steering wheel, just like in that G90 that I reviewed about uh, two or three weeks ago. This uh, portion here does have a aux also with two USB chargers here, a little slot portion here to put your phone in a cup holder here you can close this back to hide what's there i'm surprised to still see a cd player here you got this uh, trackpad here it's 
it's a little difficult for me honestly to work it but most people if you guys keep this car on an everyday basis it'll be easier to use but going here to main menu you also have your audio settings your phone setting phone settings your apps your projection which is apple carplay android auto that this that my tester offers here your climate control which are here like i mentioned this does have the three uh, level heated and cool seats like i mentioned mess with the dual climate control in here but i like the hard touch buttons here it's a little better than touching um it with this trackpad here because it does get confusing to use sometimes so putting the es into reverse here it does have trajectory with distance markers here also with real parking sensors kicking over here to the left it does have a traditional sport mode and like i mentioned this does have the eight speed automatic transmission putting it back into park an auto hold here uh this little cool little uh gimmick here you can press this to uh put your cup holder here or to place your phone in there to keep it uh, up probably place your phone here and let it uh, hang at a different angle close that back open up the center console here this does have a wireless charging pad it charged my iphone uh 11 just fine a decent amount of storage in here also you can open this up two different ways as well so you can open this from the driver's side and also from the passenger side here the center console is nice and pat padded the materials here on the dashboard are nice leather wrap material and soft touch ejection mode and plastic in certain areas the dashboard here it does have this leather wrap material here like i mentioned your drive selector your drive selected uh, modes are here which is sport normal eco and your stability control here as well and a nice portion here to rest your elbows and a nice grab handle or a nice portion to rest your phone just in case you don't want to put it here the seats like i mentioned they look really nice as you can see you have the f sport embedded into the headrest but i would prefer the red interior over the black interior just because it gives it more of a characteristic in here uh the seats in here are very comfortable they hold you in place but they're not aggressively bolstered and every es is going to come standard with a sunroof but if you want to get a panoramic sunroof you have to option that in but let's hop into the back seat of the es f sport so get into the back seat here of the es oh my god the space back here is plentiful the materials are soft touch more of that aluminum style trim aluminum style door handle here the soft portion to rest your elbows two mat pockets here two two quick charging usbs here a 12 volt rear air vents back here uh lexus race the legroom back here at 39 inches of legroom mind you the avalon offers 40 inch legroom so one more inch uh more of legroom mind you like i mentioned the all es's are going to come standard with a standard size so if you want to get the panoramic summary you have to option that in putting this armrest down here there is two cup holders with no additional storage and there is a pass-through just in case you want to th throw something into the trunk but let's take the um let's take the es out and see how it performs with that v6 engine so start off in the 2020 lexus es 350 f sport here visibility in the es here is very good you have these uh side mirrors here which has the blind spot monitoring which is a part of a package that you have to pay for i'm surprised lexus didn't make it standard but it does have a, a lot of good safety tech which is emergency braking pedestrian detection with rear cross traffic alert as well the cabin here is really quiet uh, like i mentioned visibility is good from the front windshield even at the back the visibility is good as well but this car feels long it feels longer than the avalon and, and the avalon and the camry they all ride on the same platform as the es here but this car just feels really long to me. I'm not sure why, but I can't explain it. But I drove the Camry before. I drove the e, um, the Avalon before too as well. This has the company's 3.5 liter V6, which makes 302 horsepower and 267 foot pounds of torque. So I'm going to do a slight acceleration run really quick here. It kind of cut the power a little bit, but. The 3.5 liter is pretty good, just like in the Avalon, but the Avalon makes 301. But overall, yeah, you really can't tell. This thing floats. It, the steering is numb, but it's playful. You also have the paddle shifters here. But this thing can hustle around some tight corners, especially if you live in like the northern states that have like windy back roads. You wanna take this car and show it off to your friends, you definitely can do so, but this car would definitely handle great. You can definitely handle this car. This car is meant for luxury. You're not going to really, really be pushing the ES like that, but just for those people that would love to drive their car a little fast, this car has it. But I'm going to put this into sport mode here, and I'm going to do a slight acceleration run again. It cuts the power, 
with this being a front wheel drive uh, vehicle, I'm surprised Lexus didn't make this and give it the all wheel drive system instead of making a front wheel drive because 302 horsepower is a lot of horsepower for a front wheel drive car because it's always going to burn those front tires out, leave some marks in the middle of the road. You actually don't want that, but this car does hold up pretty good. Um, like I mentioned, it's very quiet in here. It just has the heated and cool seats. If you're like, especially on a hot day like today, you, you just turn your cool seats on. Like I mentioned, the visibility is good. This comes with Lexus uh, standard stuff 2.0. Uh, build quality, reliability is Lexus and Toyota. They're all the same thing. So if you guys are looking to purchase one of these things, you guys just watch the end of the video and see where you guys can get this car from. Spending time with the 2020 Lexus ES350 Sport. My tester has a deluxe styling cabin, also with a smooth driving V6. So how much does 50 F Sport cost? Starting price for my tester is $44,000. $635 with some optional equipment which rolls in the balance by morning where we're across traffic alert, the wireless charging pad, also the F Sport leather wrap steering wheel, including destination my tester stickers for $47,345. I'd like to give a special thanks to the marketing team here at Texas of West Kendall. If you're in the market for a 2020 Lexus ES350 S Sport, you can come to Lexus of West Kendall. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Drive On Reviews and please keep subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'll catch you all in the next video.